hello my lovely welcome back to my channel my name is chi today here today i am here with my lovely dummy to demonstrate how to make a six petals flower my lovely dummy is inke chi and this is her introduction to our channel i just made a review video of this mannequin it's actually an afro hair but i washed blue dried it and this is how it came out if you are interested in that review the description will be the video will be linked in the description bar so i start off by making a straight line and then try to separate each half of it into three sections so that i will have six in total which is going to be representing six petals and i am going to show you how each of the petal is going to come out from these six sections and i am just sectioning everything off so that you can see clearly every single time i have braided flower braids it has usually been on natural hair and it was difficult to make the lines this obvious so i am excited for this video the center of each line is like the rib cage of each flower that is what i am trying to demonstrate here as clear as possible each of these sections is going to contribute half of the flower just like this the center line is the center of each flower but guys I just reasoned like I have come past the beginner stage of forming these flowers like this I started off making it like this so that I can ensure that each of the petals are equal but guys the next time I am going to try this or if you can just use the six sections we already see to create the petals without getting half and half from each side I don't know if you understand what I mean but I'm going to make another video showing it and also I have figured why every single time I see a braided petal or a braided flower I've never seen people go past five petals and I have just figured out why like six is just it almost looks too much I am not sure yet but it's just because of a a tiny abnormality that happened with this flower at the end that made me convinced that you know what I'll just stick to five but I'm going to try this six petal one more time to see if there is a way around it but five petals just almost looks perfect five petals is perfect and guys I am so excited that for once I can show this flower braid on a hair that is straighter less kinky so that you can see the lines clearly and you can see everywhere i turn around and just every detail is obviously more clear so as i said each of those sections contributes to half of each petal and when i am able to make the pattern in a c shape then I braid around the rib cage. I am going to repeat this on the opposite side, like the petal on the opposite side. That is how you braid this. When you braid from one side, you cross over and braid the petal on the opposite side. If you're exiting the petal you're working on from the right, you go into the next petal from your left so that you can form like a crisscross in the center of the flower to make the braid a little bit more compacted in that middle because you don't want it running like a, a bar across the center of the flower that's why you need to cross go across just to bring the braids a little bit closer i hope this is making sense but as you keep watching you will see on this braid i am coming out from our right hand side as you're watching this video I started braiding from the left I went up and around and came down from the right hand side now that I am going into the petal on the next side I will crisscross my braid and go in from the left hand side just as I am doing now I would braid down and up onto the right hand side when I want to go into the next petal since I am exiting this petal from 
the right hand side I will go into the next petal through the left hand side just so that the braids can cross over themselves in the middle yeah that's just to make sure they cross over and this petal usually you would be making this on like the these two petals towards the face would be on like the edges of a human being and you usually would have less hair there and I think it actually looks more realistic and better on a human being than my dummy that has very full edges so the flower would be actually look better but I am going to keep repeating this until I make six of the petals I would carve out like a C from the left hand side of one of these lines and a C from the right hand side of the lines to create a petal just like this then I would open up that line in the middle and it will be the rib cage of the flower and then I would braid around it up and down to create a petal we are going to do this for this third the fourth fifth and sixth petal then we continue so let's go if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me okay <laughs>
so guys now that I am done I would use a latch hook and start trying to conceal the tail of the braid into the middle part at the same time I am using the tail to pull the braids in the middle together somehow like to form like a knot at the center of the flower and also to pull the 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 braids tighter together remember the way we were crisscrossing the middle so that the braids will not be all over the place and not take up, take up too much space in the middle now we just use that tail of the braid to push pull them together again and to accessorize this hair i will just let you watch at this almost regular speed for a while then you'll be able to see what I am doing it is pretty like you understand more from watching so let's go let's go remember if you want to purchase this particular afro hair just watch the review of this afro hair and you understand how the journey started like it was full it looked like a full kinky fussy type of afro and I just wanted to see everything it was about that was why I I made that review video where I washed it I detangled it first and the coils looked so pretty like the quality of the hair they used in making this thing impressed me it doesn't tangle at all and when I sprayed it with a little water and brushed it out it looked so just like an expensive hair extension but I wanted to see how much it was shared. In that video, I showed how much it shared when I detangled the hair after getting it. And also, I shampooed, conditioned, braided, blow dried. Like, I did everything to this hair just to see how what the Inkechi is to come into our family. And she passed the test. If you're thinking about buying a dummy to practice how to make different hairstyles i encourage you to watch that tutorial not the tutorial to watch the unboxing and review so that you can be sure of what you'll be getting and then the link will also be in the description bar of where you can purchase this from amazon i will appreciate it if you use my link i am trying to grow my store there but you can also check for other sellers to get the same type of hair because this is way better than a lot of training hair I have seen like I just feel offended with the ones I have touched so far before this one like anyway you get what I mean so when we are done accessorizing this hair I make her flashy flashy I made that flashy flashy like crazy crazy I was just lazy. There is a better way of attaching this this um this hair accessory, and <laughs> this is just a lazy man's way. If you want to make it nice, you have to use two strings and like make like an X and X and X and X. You get what I mean? I have done that in when I braided number four on my little niece. Maybe I'll just leave the, the link in the description but so that if you want to see a nice way of how to accessorize your your cornrows, that video I took my time and I made crisscross, crisscross, crisscross with the hair extension and it was lovely. So if you want to see how to do that properly, you should. But if you're too lazy and if you're just lazy like me and just not in the mood you can do this type but this one doesn't look as nice as that this one was just all over the place but it was still nice so my lovelies i appreciate every single minute you spend on my channel if you want to encourage me please do not skip the ads at least watch when you can because that is how i make money from this channel i appreciate you so much Thank you for watching. Now I am going to just put the rest of her hair in a tie because I cannot come and start making the whole hair. I just wanted to show you how to braid it. 
a flower if you want to see hairstyles you can make with a flower i have a flower playlist you can get inspiration of styles but then you can do anything with this hair thank you for watching